Hello, 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 and welcome to VR Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing the Marvel Legends Masterworks Everyone vs. Galactus. So yeah, this is one of the pieces that had been missing from my Galactus collection for a while, mostly because it's usually unnecessarily expensive, and I had to get it for about 50 bucks this time, which, after getting it, is more than I really wanted to pay for it. Um, it's got some issues. It's It feels like it's not really made very well, and I actually broke Wasp off of it just by touching it, so that's not really a good sign. There are also a few paint issues on mine, but I know that's just mine because I've seen ones that don't look like that, but still, it's a bit of an irritation. I almost wish I hadn't bought it, but I have to have it because it's part of my Galactus collection. Anyway, let's move in for the sculpt and paint. There's no articulation or anything else. It's essentially just a plastic statue, so yeah. Alright, here we have everyone versus Galactus. As you can see, it is Galactus, and he has lots of various characters sort of attacking him and stuck to him and things like that. Down here you have Doctor Strange, Thor, Captain America, Human Torch Thing, Mr. Fantastic, Iron Man, and Wasp. This is based on an issue of Fantastic Four, which does come with this and that I'll look at in a minute. Um, all of these pieces that aren't Galactus... Are, uh, are kind of a softer plastic, like all the hanging off bits, like Mr. Fantastic, and his horns here on his helmet are really soft plastic, and it makes it feel kind of cheaply made, which is something that I would almost never say about anything the Toy Biz has ever done, so it's kind of surprising. Um, the quality of it's not terrible, it's just that that makes it feel kind of cheap, and the, uh, the characters that are sort of stuck off of him on these little clear rods, like Wasp, Doctor Strange, you should probably be careful with, because Wasp just kind of popped off, and I had to glue her back on there, which irritates me anytime anything ever breaks. So, yeah, watch out for that. Apart from that, it's fairly nice. There's just, it ended up irritating me, especially since I had to pay an excessive amount of money just to get a hold of one. Um, let's zoom in on the details on the various parts of it, since it's just got lots of stuff to look at. Alright, up here at Galactus's head, you can see his head, and uh, he does actually have the proper kind of eyes, which I like, except for they're purple. And uh, his teeth are also kind of purple, and skin colored mixed together, and they're supposed to be white, and I've seen ones where they are white, so that is just mine, but it's very, very irritating and looks very stupid. Um, up here, close to the head, you can see Iron Man, who's shooting his little repulsor ray. He has little, actually has nothing supporting him other than that repulsor ray, so you, probably something else you should be careful with. And you have the thing over here, about to punch him in the shoulder or something like that. Moving down, you have Mr. Fantastic wrapped around his arm, and it's also wrapped around another part of his body, like his waist and a little bit of his other arm. Not really sure what that's supposed to do to Galactus, but that's what he's attempting to do to him. You also have Wasp flying upward over here, coming off of this elbow here with a little clear rod. Uh, she will break off, and she is Wasp. Not much else to say. All these little figurines are probably in a similar size and a uh, level of detail to Hero Clicks. Coming down around his waist, you can see more of Mr. Fantastic, and you can see the Human Torch, who is throwing some fire at him. And then down at the bottom, you can see Thor, who is not doing anything that I can tell. It looks like he is running in the opposite direction, trying to hit something with a hammer. You can see Doctor Strange over here, who is falling downward. And you can see Captain America, who is apparently about to hit Galactus in the foot with his shield, which sounds like a silly thing to do to me. Here is a comparison in size between a hero click and one of these little guys. They are almost exactly the same size, really. That's really about it for this thing. Uh, like I said, it looks okay, and I think if mine's face was not messed up in the way that it was, I'd like it a bit more along with the fact that if Wasp it didn't break off, but it's still not an excellent thing. It's not anything that I would suggest that anyone get, other than like someone that really likes Galactus like I do, or someone that just, for some reason, wants it after seeing the complaints about it. Uh, let's move on to the packaging, and also take a look at the comic book that it's based off of. Alright, I had to move my light, so this is a bit different looking, but uh, yeah, this is the comic book and the Galactus together. You can sort of see what they based it off of. 
uh, issue of Fantastic Four, as most Marvel Legends and uh, things came with a reprint of a comic book related to the thing. So did these, and uh, this is what they came with. So yeah, it's a full reprint. I'm sure you can read it if you want to, although I'm sure this is not an actually difficult original issue to get a hold of either. But uh, yeah, you can read that if you want to. It's got Galactus on it. It's always a good thing. All right, and here we have the packaging. As you can see, it comes in a relatively decent-sized box, which is just beat to hell on the one I've got. Masterworks up here at the top, Marvel Legends down here at the bottom. Got a little picture of the comic book it comes with, and a very, very large window, which wraps around both sides, and is also on the top. Masterworks, Fantastic Four, 243, everyone versus Galactus. And then on the back, it's got a picture of the figure-like thing in question. And a fairly decent description, and a picture of the comic book, and a picture of another one of the Marvel Legends Masterworks. I think there are four of these. There is this one, and there's this Hulk vs. Thing one, there's a Spider-Man and Green Goblin one, and there is a Fantastic Four vs. the Big Mole Man thingy from Fantastic Four number one. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the packaging. Pretty decent for display purposes, if it's not beat hell. So, yeah. Everyone versus Galactus. All right, that about wraps it up for Everyone versus Galactus. Um, I don't think I'll do a stat page for this because it's not really a figure. As a matter of fact, I'm considering not doing stat pages anymore anyway because they're very arbitrary and my scores don't actually mean anything. Um, if you really want to know about whatever I'm reviewing, watch the actual review. Forget the scores; they're completely irrelevant and just something I tacked on there, honestly. So, yeah, Galactus. Hello, you've just watched one of my videos. Feel free to like and comment and subscribe and all those sorts of things if you enjoyed my video. If you didn't, run away. Run away and never return. Also, feel free to check out my other channels. Venom Raptor for all my variety gaming content. And VR Reviews for reviews of various action figures and collectibles. Thank you, and goodbye.